Hello everyone, welcome back once again to my video tutorial. This is Tipra again with you. So today we will learn how we can write unit tests for our REST APIs using JUnit and Mockito framework. So before going to write JUnit and Mockito, let me tell you why actually we need to write unit tests for our app. So let me give you a scenario where I can explain you why actually we need to write unit tests for our code. So let's say you have built a REST API and without testing your code or without writing any test case for your code you just simply go and deploy your code on server and while testing on the server your API throws some error then what will do? again you will come to the local workspace and check for that particular code and fix the issue then redeploy it and retest it in the server but do you think it is the best practice for a developer? the answer will be no so every developer should write unit test case for their code to make sure that their code works correctly. So for this, we need to write a test case for our code. So to write unit test case, there are so many testing frameworks available. One of the most powerful framework is JU. Okay. Then what is Mockito? So to explain about Mockito framework, let me directly put the code there I'll show you why we need Mockito while writing the unit test case. So let me go to my workspace. Here you can see. So this is the project I have already created to save the time actually. So you could type JUnit Mockito example. So I use this project to write the unit test case by using JUnit and Mockito camera. Okay. So this is a Maven project. If I go to the prompted example, here you can see. So I have used the dependent like Spring Bootstrap data JPA, Spring Bootstrap web. Then my connector to delete the database. Then I have this dependency in which starter test. So you need to add this dependency in your project in which starter test. So inside this dependency, you have that JUnit and Mockito framework embedded. Okay. So let me close this one and let me expand my SRC folder. So here I have the package like controller, entity, exception, repository, and service. So inside my controller, I have created a few REST endpoints. See here, to save a contact, I have the SAS contact, then, then, then get contact by ID, then get all the contact list and to delete a particular contact. So I have these four endpoints. Okay. So if I go to my service test, so let me go to the service test. So here if you mark, I have used the contact repository, which is nothing but extend the JP repository. And by using the same method of contact repository, I save the contact. Similarly, to find all the contact, I will use the final method, then to get contact by ID, find by ID, and to delete a particular contact, delete method is there inside our contact repository. Let's say I am writing a unit test case for this save contact method. Okay, so inside this save contact method, I am using this contact repository dot save method. So when I call this save method, so that will treat my database to save a particular contact. Okay, again while well, I Write the unit test case for get contact list. So it will use the contact repository dot find all method. Again, it will use the database to find all the uh, contacts saved in my database and return it to me. So to hitting the database multiple times, it's not a best practice, isn't it? So similarly, for get contact by ID, we are using find by ID. This will again hit our database and delete contact also. It will use the database and delete that particular contact. So, in this scenario, when we write unit test case for our service layer, so we are hitting our database, okay, so which is not a best practice. So, to avoid this type of scenario, Mockito comes into picture, okay. So, how Mockito helps you? Instead of hitting the database, Mockito can provide us a mock object of that database, okay. It will act as a virtual database for service layer. So, we can simply mock our database layer. Clear? Why we need Mockito? So, instead of hitting the actual database, it will provide us a virtual database or it will mock our database object. Okay, I hope you understood what is JUnit and why we use Mockito actually. So now, guys, let's start it to write our unit test case for our service layer. Okay. So for this, let me go to my test package. Here I have already created a package like service. So inside this service package, I will write 
the test case for my service classes. So here, my service class name is contact service. Similarly, I have created a test test for this contact service, contact service test. Okay, let me open this one. So here, for this method of my service class, set contact, get contact by ID, get contact list, and delete contact, I have put four test cases and annotated it as at the rate test. Okay, so inside this test case, we are actually going to write our code. So here, we are going to mark our what? We are going to mark our repository layer. Inside our service, we are calling the repository, isn't it? So, while calling the repository, it is connecting to our DB. But we want to restrict this DB call while writing our test case. Okay. So, that's why we need to mark this contact repository object. So, how we can mark this? Simply, there is a annotation we can use at the red mark bin. Okay. At the red mark bin. So, which one we are going to mark? This is nothing but contact repository. Okay. So, now we are going to write the unit test case for our service layer. Okay. So, this service layer must be inject inside our test case. So, how we can inject a bin? By using auto add annotation. After it auto add, then contact service. Okay. Understood? So, now. We are done with our mock bin and auto. -air. So now we start writing in the test case for our save contact method. So to save a contact, what will require to save contact if I go to the con save contact method? So we have a contact object. By using the contact repository save method, we can save our contact. But I don't want to communicate with my DB while saving this one. So I need to create a mock object. So how we, we can create the mock object? We will see now. So, let me create a contact object here. Okay. So, this is my contact object. So, here I can write like this. Just mark this statement. When contact repository, when contact repository dot save. Okay. When contact repository dot save contact. Just mark this carefully, then return. This contact object. So, what does this statement mean? So, when from the service layer, I'll invoke this contact repository the save contact method instead of going to the actual database call or DB call, that will return my mock object. This is my mock object. I have created this mock object. Okay. So that will return this contact to me. Understood? So now to check the assert statement, we can use the assert equals. What is my expected value and what is my actual value? So my expected value is this contact and actual will be what? Contact service. Contact service dot save contact. Understood? So we are create a mock object for our test class. This is nothing but contact. And we told whenever contact repository that save contact method will be invoked, that will return us this mock object. Instead of putting the actual DB, that will return us this mock object. Okay. So this is the unit test case to test our save contact method of our service. So let me run this test case. Run test case. Okay, if you mark here, see, right tick is there. That means our test case is passed, test passed one. Okay, so we have successfully written our first unit test case for our service plan method, which is not good, save a particular contact. So there might be one question hit to your mind that this save contact method is not actually hitting to your DB. So how you will come to know actually this save contact method is reaching to your DB or not. Okay. This is the contact. The ID, 100, then Lipsta, first name, factor, email is Lipsta, gmail.com and phone number is this one. So, if I go to my MySQL database, here you can see, I don't have the record like 100. That means, the data is not saving to our database. So, it's not hitting to our DB anymore because we mock this object. Understood? So, 
let me write the unit test case for our get contact by id method as well so let me similarly create a mock object here now i'll write the marking for this one so this one get contact by id okay so this is the find by id method so instead of reaching the ep it should return me my mock object okay so let me write the unit test case for it okay so mark this line so whenever contact refer to that find by id whenever this method is invoked and id is here 100 then return optional of contact optional of contact means this contact you know find by id method will always return as a optional object so that's why i have written like this optional of this contact this contact means my mock object contact okay instead of hitting the database it will return me this contact object so now i can add a assert statement here as well so let me check the assert statement for this email okay so let like this okay so here my expected value is this email lips at gmail.com this one is my expected and my actual is whatever coming from my service layer okay contact service get contact by id then get email okay so i have put a assert statement to check my email address so this is my expected email address and the actual will be what will come from my service layer contact service dot get contact by id method okay so let me check this test case as well okay see here test get contact by id test case also passed understood so now we will write our test case for get or contact list. So for this, what we have to get all the contact list, we have the final method. But we need to mark this final method of contact separately. So how we can do this? Let's see. So this final method will return me all list of contact list. So let me create a mock object to return a list of contact object. So see. So this is my contact list. So now I will mock. Now I can mock check here. I'll write when contact repository dot find all method. When this method will be invoked, then return me my mock object instead of it is good db then return this contact list understood so let me put a assert statement here assert equal so what is my expected so let me check the contact list size here okay so here i have two object in this contact list so my expected value is two here okay and what should be my actual value actual value is nothing but Contact service, contact service dot get contact list dot size. Okay, so my expected value is the size of this array contact list, and what should be the actual? The actual value will list, which will come from my service one, right? So contact service dot get contact list. So whenever this method will invoke here, get contact list method will invoke, it will internally call contact repository final method. But we have mocked this final method inside our test case. Okay. So whenever this contact repository the final method will be invoked, that will return me this contact list. So this contact list size will be returned to us. So now let me test this one as well, whether you have written this correctly or not. Okay, test get contact list also, test is passed. Okay, so now the last one, delete a contact will write our code. So to delete a contact, let me create the same contact object here and we will delete this contact. Okay, so delete a contact, what is our method here? Delete contact method is there inside our service class. So we call this delete contact method. And the return type is void here. So we can put a assert statement here then okay so how we verify whether our delete contact method is invoked or not so let one thing here so let me call contact service dot delete 
delete contact so we want to delete this contact one right delete this contact now there is a method static method in marketo that is nothing but verify so let me use that one verify so what is the use of verify i'll tell you so verify so we will verify our repository method this method repository the delete method is actually invoked or not okay so let's go there and contact repository here this is our repository then it will accept another parameter that is nothing but time so how many times we will check here i am giving you one here so we check whether this contact repository or delete method is invoked or not so now dot what will write will write delete we are checking the delete method right so delete this contact this contact object so we can this is a important one click mark here so we can write our unit test case for a delete method like this because the delete method return type is void so we can use a assert statement here but how we can verify this method by using this verify method so it will accept this contact repository and how many times i have given here once okay so that means this delete method is invoked once so let's run this one to check this test case is also passed okay so that's it guys how we can write our unit test case for our service layer so we have checked for all the method in our service layer which is set contact get contact list get contact by id and also for delete a particular contact we have written the unit test case okay so here uh, so which layer we want to mark we can annotate that as at the red mark So here we want to mark the contact repository or repository layer, okay? Because in the repository we are calling the DB call, so we don't want to hit the DB. That's why we mark this one, okay? And inject the contact service one as we are going to write the unit test case for our method in the contact service. Then we inject this contact service by using address auto here, okay? And we have written the unit test case for all the methods in our service layer. So how we can mark a object by using Markito framework? I hope you understood by seeing this example. Okay, so that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. In my next video, I'll show you how we can write unit test case for our controller layer and mark the service layer method. Okay, so till then, thanks for watching.